Right now, what's happened is really a combination of two factors. First off, precipitation over the past year, as well as the past decade, has been well above average. So we're getting a lot more water coming into the Great Lakes Basin. But another interesting thing that happened, and this started in about 2014, is that evaporation rates slowed down and they slowed down drastically. So essentially you have more water coming in, less water leaving, that leads to a net increase in water levels across the entire region. One of the things that um, I and my colleagues are focusing on a lot right now is the ability to forecast. Um, we want to be able to anticipate and we want to be able to provide predictions for citizens, for municipalities, for other stakeholders in the region to better understand what might happen with precipitation and water abundance first on short-term timescales and then finally on longer timescales, on multi-decadal timescales, 10, 20, even 30 years out. There are a range of decisions that are made across all of those different timescales, so it's important to have forecasts that coincide with the timescales of those management decisions, and that's one of the most important things we're working on right now. One of the things that we're doing here at the University of Michigan, and I think is being done throughout the University Research Corridor, is to develop students and even faculty and staff with a better appreciation and understanding for the entire Great Lakes system. Uh, the Mich state of Michigan is a wonderful state and it's deeply connected with the Great Lakes, but the Great Lakes as a whole involve a connection between eight states in the United States, two Canadian provinces, and even First Nations and lands that belong to tribal territories. So there's an important story that we need to be telling both among uh, the institutions and to the students that we're, that we're moving forward about the entire Great Lakes system and how important it is to understand it and make good decisions about how we use it.